There are not many machines that can do as many exercises as this thing can do that takes up this little space. The downside is that you've got to bolt it to your wall. If you've got a column in your gym, then this is really a must have. Now, normally in these reviews, I take a deep dive into the build quality of the machines. That is what we get a lot of questions about. However, on this machine, there's not really that much to go through as it's a pretty basic sort of design. Starting from the bottom, we just have a base. It's got guide rails for the weight stack. It's got a chrome upright for the adjustable pulleys. Now there's two pulleys and you'll see by the angle that one's for lower exercises, one's for upper exercises, and they both work on swivel bushings. You adjust the height with a commercial pull pin. There's 18 height adjustment positions in total. From there, the cables run through to the weight stack. The weight stack is 50 kilos. It has 22 and a half kilo plates with a two to one ratio. It has covers, which makes it look good and prevents people from pinching themselves on the weight stack. The whole unit is then bolted to the wall with brackets at the top and the bottom and it comes standard with these two stirrup handles. Now, I've probably lost a lot of you beasts at the 50 kilo weight stack mark. For those who don't understand the two to one ratio, I'll probably lose some more. With a two to one ratio, you're effectively only lifting 25 kilos. So I can hear you all saying that it is nowhere near enough weight. Well, this actual machine here is very old. It's at least six years old, and these early models only came out with a 40 kilo stack. Even with this weight stack, I've never found myself wanting more weight. Linus behind the camera has held Australian bench press records, and he has not been wanting more weight. Yes, there are ways I could lift this stack, but not with the many exercises that I do on this machine. This machine is all about isolation and accessory work. My belief is that you break your records with a barbell, not with a machine like this. For all you specimens out there who are still not convinced, we're lucky to have Lee Priest, who can show you just a fraction of some of the exercises that you can do on this machine. But most importantly, he shows you how to do them properly. Uh, you'll notice how when Lee does any exercise, he performs it with textbook form, just slow and controlled movements. Um, and he gets himself in the correct position to isolate the target muscle. If you follow that simple advice, you won't need a lot of weight. You will work the target muscle without stressing your joints. And I guess that's the whole purpose of this machine. Lee started doing two-handed movements on this machine without prompting. This machine is not really designed for two-handed movements, but you can do them. I do them regularly myself. Now, naturally, it's not as good as a machine that is designed for two-handed movements, but given the footprint, it is pretty bloody good. However, mostly I do the exercises with one cable. I like doing isolation work one arm at a time, working between each arm, um, trying to keep the heart rate up so I can burn some calories. It is the best way to finish off a workout. Now, who is this machine for? My trusty guide of value in gym equipment involves three metrics, functionality, space, and money. Now the FTX 2000 ranks off the charts for functionality and space. As mentioned at the start, this thing does so much for its footprint. The downside is that it's $1,700 at the moment, which is not cheap. If that's not a lot of money for you, then this is a no brainer especially if you're an old fart like me. Once you play around on this machine and figure out all the different exercises you can do with it, I find I can't live without it. I guess the worst thing about getting old is that you want to train hard and often, but you, sadly your body doesn't want to do that. For a nut job like me, I need to train every day or I start going a bit crazy. So this machine is perfect for my little fix. I can come out and just do some slow controlled reps and it's enough to clear my head, get a pump and my body doesn't ache the next day. Plus I'm finding now that I'm starting to train with my kids. It's just perfect for them. So easy to set up, adjust the height for different exercises and body positions. Even for the more serious trainers, you need to do your accessory work and you need to do it with proper form. 
small muscles do not need a lot of weight. I just want to make it clear that, that, that this machine is not just for us pensioners. As I said before, Linus has used this in his training for national and international competitions. For gyms and studios, if you have got a column in your gym and you can bolt one onto it, then this is a must have. Or if you don't think you've got room for a cable crossover, you can bolt two of these to the wall spaced apart. So they're just that compact. You can sort of squeeze one anywhere. That's why I, re I recommend them if you've got that space. Now with installation and assembly, the actual machine is not too hard to build. The hard part is mounting it to the wall. If you've got experience in mounting stuff to the wall, it won't be too hard. But if you don't, thoroughly recommend getting someone to give you a hand and, and just take your time and always go by the, the, the theory that it's better to measure more than, than drill. So just take your time and get it right.